about seven years, and you know, it's just really neat how, how things start to go. Mm -hmm. um, I've always continued to follow the work that you've been doing in the industry, and so um, even after, even while I was with Conchavet, was watching what was going on with the UFC Napa and everything else, and we talked a whole lot on the AOL forums back in the day. And uh, but uh, I was, uh, I joined the UBBT shortly after we reconnected on Facebook. Then, been an exciting ride. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Lauren, tell us your story. What's your story? Um, I started martial arts when I was 11. I'm 41 now, so I've got quite a long time. I uh, started off in uh, Ed Parker's Kempo, and in the 90s, started practicing Muay Thai kickboxing and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. And, uh, about 10 years ago, I started training in Krav Maga. <laughs> and, and I was trained by the best in the industry, in my opinion, people like uh, Roland Osborne and Barry Vanover. I mean, these guys are awesome teachers. And then I started asking around about Tom, and they're going, yeah, this is the guy that started all this way of teaching, you know. And um, then about a year ago, over a year ago, I started looking for him found him and I couldn't believe what I found because I was already practicing uh, Buddhist meditation techniques and reading every Buddhist book I could find and everything Tom was doing in the 100 was, I just couldn't believe it. It was perfect. So, joined right away. You had a really good thing going. So I just happened to get the, on the camera first. I think that some people hadn't seen that kind of stuff. It was really Ernie Reyes, he was the, the guy he could teach like a son of a guy, you know. Well, thanks. Thanks. Tell us your story. All right, so it's day two. We worked all day yesterday. We had a nice little fellowship last night, chatted up a little bit. Hung out this morning, told each other some stories about how we got to be here. And we're heading over to the work site to continue the work on the Martin Stewart School. Right, good morning from the construction site. It is Friday morning, and we're going to be working a little different scene today. Had a little bit of uh, scattered showers, a little sprinkling, spitting on us a little bit. That's not going to keep us from doing our work today. we got a lot to do, a lot of indoor stuff to do. Eh, not all of it's going to get run by a load of water, so we'll be good. I'm not sure what he did. He said you sent you some love, right? Here's our Minnesota contingent. This guy's is hilarious, by the way. So they're working on this exterior wall. We got Linda's up there working. They're doing more blocking. Check out the staircase here. You can see most of them come around. There's the back stairs. Now, all built up. I don't know what they're doing upstairs in this lab. And here's the center. There. Yes, they're all burners and everything. This is the opposite wall. What's up? <laughs> Great, man. How are you? Yeah, it looks good. Here's the back staircase. It's all built now. Now we're underneath of it. I don't know if that's good luck or not. And if you look up, I'm going to walk this guy. Take a second. Look at this. We have it upstairs. Jack, we didn't have it upstairs a while back, but it's coming along. Lots of noise. That means lots of work being done. This thing's going to be awesome. This upstairs is going to house the uh, volunteers who come to teach to get these kids moving in the right direction. This is exceptional. This is really, really inspirational stuff we're doing. Can't wait. And what's being done down here? Exciting thing.
So I was like, and that first, this guy was my very first fight was this guy. And my whole strategy was he's 480 pounds. My only chance is I can't get hit by this guy, right? But he, I know his win, he's not going to be able to keep up. So, <laughs> so I'm constantly doing just enough, you know, almost like wing chunning it, just enough to, and footwork to not get his line. And then he's sweating like a beast. So, three minutes into the fight, he slips on his own sweat and has to post, and I'm on his back. You know, and I'm like, you know, and drove, drove my feet forward to flatten him out forward. No way do you want a 480 pound guy with you on your back. Oh, yeah. You know? So, I flatten him out forward, and, and he's not tapping him, like, and he doesn't even know what tapping is. Because this is 94, you know, it's new. So I like choke him out, but no one stops the fight. So I let let go because I don't want to kill the guy. Then I put it back on, and I let go, and I'm looking around, and I put it back on, and I let go, and look around, and, and then finally, you know, his corner guy that was on his third beer was like, oh, uh, already, already. You know? All right, I'm on the staircase once again, going upstairs. We got all. Oh, locking down for downstairs. Apparently, there's more to do. The rail is getting built now. Goes all the way down like we talked about before. We got all the siding still going. The stuff got dudes up on the roof. Everything rainproof. Thought we were gonna get spit on today, but fortunately we did alright. We did good. So far, so good. Ain't even the end of day two. We had a lot of work to go. Clock. How about an update? So you can see we've moved a bunch of stuff out of here. You can hear the preschoolers next door. We got the whole ramp now with the railings. We've been inside. They've done all the framing, all the blocking, all the everything. We got a, some wood to take out of there. These guys are still working on the roof. Um, we got all kind of stuff getting painted, primed, and sanded, and cut. And let's go walk around the front here. Show you a little bit of what, what these guys are doing. We walk around the lumber guy in his lumber truck. Let's see how far they've gotten on the front here. Let's see. Ow, they're rolling. They're rolling. Put the siding up. Looks good. I thought stuff we had to raise that roof yesterday and all that. Okay, we're upstairs. That's the front where I just showed you guys on the outside where they're doing that. This is the open area leading down to where those guys are doing the handicap ramp. Uh, this is the new. Straight down the staircase here, doesn't have railings yet. You can see the varnish that's actually all original looks in the original school. Uh, and then we just finished all this happy blocking for the drywall. And then there's gonna be shower stalls and bedding and uh, little community spaces here for all the guest teachers when they come in. I know, that's what I said. <laughs> We're at the 20th annual Crawfish Festival at the Lonsdale Bar and Grill. And the next band to play is going to be Stone Cloud. They're getting ready to play. Everybody's uh, feeling great after the debut of the UBBT soft, slow pitch softball team. <laughs> Semi pro, no, 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 no. She said a gumbo, and I was like, that's not a gumbo, there's no vegetables. Yeah. 
Let me see these guys. Let's see what they're doing. Eat their frog pants. I can't believe how bad the guy is saying he's just done it. Are you guys sucking the brains out of him like a zombie? Yes. Awesome. He's slamming me. They're racing to see who can eat the most. Not the birds, how fast? Because I know he's out of here. And he's like, you know, and they're. Yeah, training. Okay, I'm going to get your daddy now. I got him. I'll take over him for you. I'll take over him for you. He's going to tap him. That's awesome. Okay, now I'm going to sit up facing away from him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The way out. Like three times? Yeah, yeah. It's not a horn, it's a. You're actually not as messed up as she was. Well, I don't know if the yoga's helping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah.